and welcome back to Sadie Spincraft. Today I want to talk to you a bit about spinning on a big a, a budget. A budget. Um I wouldn't be here with what I've got today if it wasn't for my viewers. Fantastic people you all are. Um but when I first started I started with a coffee lid, a pencil and a hook. And for the wool or the fleece. I went into the fields and picked it off hedges, fences, bushes, brambles, that sort of thing. What naturally comes off the sheep. And it was coarse, it was horrible, but it was for practice. And I was able to practice and say to myself, yes, I actually do want to spend money on this. So then I got, no, I made a better drop spindle and I bought some comb top. Uh, I dyed it with, come on, brain fog, I do apologize about this. I dyed it with food coloring, it turned out purple because I used red and blue. What a surprise. <laughs> and I spun it. And then applied it. And I loved it. Absolutely loved it. It was bumpy, lumpy, here, there and everywhere, but I'd made it and I felt so good. So, me being me, couldn't wait for a wheel. So I trawled eBay and other selling sites and I found Gwen for £35. I found Jack Rabbit, which is the small one that you'll see right at the beginning of all these videos. He was £20 and then I do have another one but it never made it see anything because the wheel kept slipping because of the thing through the middle so it never actually got going it just kept slipping so that needs fixing I fixed up Gwen by taking things off Jack Rabbit and the other little one and I was able to spin on Gwen oh it was great loved it then the bug bit and I bought more spinning wheels but I'm getting off track. So to spin on this budget, I've gone through the websites. If you would like to buy a comb top, most you're paying is five, six pound for 100 grams. That is the higher end, super soft, Oh, luxury price of say I don't know <coughs> silk and super fine merino You're paying about six quid for hundred grams if not a little bit more but if you get unblended even merino you can get it for about three quid then there's the cheaper ones Perindale I love Perindale. Same with Corridale. Love Corridale. They're not soft. Well, they're not super soft, but they're not coarse. They're good for princess hands. And they're between two, well, what were it? 195 I were paying. £1.95 for 100 grams. But I think it may have gone up a little bit. I think it's in the £2 odd. 100 gram now this is where it gets expensive and that's the shipping which is £4.95 up to a certain weight now if you can afford it I would suggest getting as much as you can up to that weight and paying and actually getting your money's worth for the £4.95 for the shipping 
if you go over that weight obviously it's a little bit more one of them things but yeah if you're buying from say world of wool wingham wool works wingham wool works and there is a few other places you also have etsy facebook for the hand dyed fibers they are more expensive simply because you've got someone like myself doing a cottage industry having to make enough money for a living I don't mind going to them sometimes it's when I go somewhere and I'm all excited and I buy say I spent £100 on some fibre when I get it home and I am so disappointed I think that's why I stopped buying comb top from these little shops and stuff because every time I got it home I was disappointed and I don't like being disappointed so I decided well we'll start getting fleece if you want to just start with any fleece go ahead do it go talk to your local farmers I can guarantee someone will give you a fleece for free they will and you can practice on it and practice on it as much as you want it doesn't matter if you ruin it because it was free same with the uh, fleece that you've picked out and about now I was talking about the shipping price from World of Wool if you want to try luxury World of Wool is your best bet or Paradise Fibres I've never been to Paradise Fibres because they're based in America and it cost me way too much to get it delivered over to the UK and that's another thing shipping is just expensive at the minute so yeah anyway I forgot where I was brain fog, brain fart all at the same time <laughs> again can I think of what I was talking about I really don't want to stop and rewind shipping if you want to try your luxury fibers <laughs> world of wool so if you all say you wait for the four pound night five is say 500 grams you could get 300 grams of whatever fleece blends or whatever you want and then 200 grams of luxury fibres because I can guarantee your luxury fibres are going to last a hell of a lot longer than your normal wool because you don't have to use a lot and you can see this in some of my previous videos where I either met bats or comb top or Rolex on the blending board I don't actually use that much of say the silk or the lotus or the rose fibre or the milk fibre or whatever and the reason why I've got all those is because I bought them as a luxury fibre pack and I think it cost me £12.95 and I thought well why not I can I've got 25 grams of each one there I can try there's banana, pineapple all sorts. Pearl, loved it. Still got loads of it left. And I think even bamboo were in there as well. I've bought fibre packs of bamboo because it lasts and you can keep adding it to bats and other things and just, it lasts, yeah. Same with the Angelina. If you're gonna buy Angelina, just buy a load all at once because it'll last a good year, if not longer. I've not had to buy any Angelina or luxury fibres, I'd say going on two years. And it's one of them. If you like sparkle, you might go through it a bit quicker. If you don't, then you probably won't go through it at all. But it's there for just in case you fancy having a bit of sparkle in your life. 
So I'm going to leave it there. If you want me to update the how to make a drop spindle, even though I've got a few on here now, so you might not want that one doing. Uh, we can recycle the little bits of yarn, recard it and spin it on another video if you would like me to do that. Because we've all got bits of yarn lying around. We've all got it. So, yeah. Let me know. I'm having brain fog. I wanted to say so much more than what I've actually done. Let's see if drinking a brew will help. I don't know. I didn't know that we're at that side. I am so sorry. But I am. <laughs> I, I, won't, I won't deny it. I am. I am the queen of everything. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> If you'd like me to take you with me on a little walk where I go and pick fleece from fields, hedges, that sort of thing, then we can do a video about that. If you'd like to see a follow up from that of say, I don't know, washing it and spinning it or washing it and dyeing it, it's up to you. Um, there's also, I suppose I can do spinning without tools if you're doing straight from the fleece. It's not something I enjoy doing, but it can be done. Spinning in the grease can be done. I hate it. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. Best person to watch spin, spinning in the grease is Kim Boyce from Fairly Fibre Fun. I would say I'd link her below, but I won't because I'll forget. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we can, I don't know, just let me know down below what you'd like to see because I'm running out of ideas. I don't have a clue what to do. I'm lost. I feel like I'm repeating myself all the time. So yeah, I need help. I love y'all. No matter where you are in the world, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night time, I want you to do what you love doing. Love and hugs to all you fantastic people out there. And I shall see you all again soon. Bye, my beautifuls.